So good morning everybody. So today I got the LS tractor out here and I'm out here at the woodshed and we are trying to fill the woodshed back up. We're here in the spring now and this was the first time ever that we still had firewood left in the shed. So we want to keep that going and uh, what I'm doing here is I'm rounding up firewood that I've already cut during this winter and what I'm doing is I'm stacking the rounds over here that I need to split and then everything else, I already took the, the little stuff that I loaded. But uh, the stuff that's ready to burn, I'm just putting it in the woodshed, getting it stacked for next winter. That's how I usually do it. I cut it in the spring and then put it in the woodshed, let it dry. When it's in the woodshed, it's, it's ready to go by fall because it's always dry. So we're going to go out in the other field because I got stuck in the mud in this field. And uh, I've got some firewood out there. All right, so I got some logs here. Some of these I've already cut, but I'm gonna hook up the winch to them. I'm gonna try to pull this one out. And then I got one, got one right here too that I wanna pull out. So we'll see if we can get them. I mean, that's pretty big. Yep, we got it. Yep, we're buried in there, good. that root ball is still on there. Man, look how much it buried itself. Ow. Still comes off easy. That's good. We'll try to drag, try to drag this one out. This one's the biggest one. Okay. Okay, I can't remember how much these tongs cost me, but I cannot get over how well they work with this winch. Because uh, they bury themselves in the log, but whenever you're ready to unhook, they come out piece of cake with that cone uh, spike on it. But the way the, this winch just ripped these two big logs out, that makes it so much easier to cut. I believe it was in my last video with the winch Somebody asked me, what's the perks to having this winch? Why can't you just use a front end loader? Well, you can use a front end loader, but like this log here with the root ball on it, if I were to be pulling on that with a strap on the front end loader, you could bend your front end loader and damage it. And then also with the winch, the only thing I'm pulling up through there are the tongs and the cable. And I can go a long ways with those tongs and cable. I can go halfway up this hill. I guess it depends on how much cable you have, which I don't know for sure how much is on this winch. I've never had it all the way out, but you can go a longer ways. And then I like being able to stand here and pull on the winch and put the log exactly where I want it. It's a, it's a lot easier than trying to move the tractor around. <laughs>
Well, go figure. I just get going here and now it's starting to sprinkle. We got a small little storm heading this way. So I'm going to put the tractor away for the day because it's already too wet to be out anyway. I almost got buried in this field behind me. That field there, it's all right, but I'm leaving tracks in the field. So I don't want to have the tractor out in any more uh, rain or, or mud. <laughs> but uh, we've got a nice start here. Uh, this is mostly elm. There's some locust in there and I'm glad I'm gonna, I got some big rounds to split because when you split that it gets real stringy and Kelsey likes it to start up a fire. It makes it real easy once it's dried out. So we'll, we'll split this up sometime and I'll probably use my tractor because it, I just, it's just easier to plug it into the rear remotes on my tractor. So we'll probably do that one day once we get some more wood. I want to get a couple couple rows built up here but the goal is to get the shed filled up if we have a full shed behind me here that will get us through the winter easy especially because we are insulated more than we ever have been two more rooms and we'll be completely insulated in the house and you can really tell a difference these past couple winters so we're sitting at about 36 hours on the tractor now i think we're going to keep this one till my year is completely up which it's almost been a year since we signed the ls uh, tractor deal and they told me they want to do it again. So once we renew that contract, I think we're going to get another another tractor And I'm not sure which one it's going to be yet. So I'll keep you informed as I find out but uh, Yeah, I think we're gonna head out go get some supplies for the kitchen so we can keep working on that and uh, I promise we'll show you when it's closer to being done, but uh, We will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching